Cinephores are best known as comb jellies or sea gooseberries. Thin means comb and fora means barrier. They look like jellyfish, but can be distinguished from, from their invertebrate relative by the rows of obvious iridescent cilia. These tiny hair-like cilia resemble the teeth of comb, giving the animal its name. The few cilia are arranged in eight rows along the sides of the animals and are clearly visible as the rainbow colored lines in the photograph of this sp spotted comb jelly. We see four rows on one side and on the back of the animals, we would see four more rows. As they beat, these cilia project this rainbow color in the water. Comb jellies are visible to the naked eye and can be the size of a grape to a few feet long. Most are round or spherical with biradial symmetry. These members of the gelatinous zooplankton are bioluminescent, producing their own light while inhabiting the twilight zone of the deep sea. The species, uh, the photograph D of the species Batocero fosteri shows a bioluminescent tinophore with producing this very own, its very own light, which appears as this blue light. Most tinophores are transparent. A, B, F, and E are examples of transparent deep sea species of comb jellies. Some are deep red, such as uh, species C over here. Being red offers them a camouflage since being in the deep sea is a, being red in the deep sea is equivalent to being invisible. A few comb jellies creep along the bottom of the sea, but most comb jellies are planktonic predators and use synchronous beating of their cilia to propel themselves to the water. Some species of tinophores move with the flapping motion of their lobes or undulations of their body. Others may have two long tentacles. In these tentacles, the comb jellies have coloblasts, which are sticky cells to capture prey. The blood belly comb jelly is a mesopelagic lobate tinophore. As red is nearly invisible in the deep sea, the vibrant red gives this comb jelly its name, and it's actually helping it hide from its predators. The red may also help conceal its stomach, which could very well contain bioluminescent glowing prey recently ingested since most of the animals in the deep sea are bioluminescent and these comb jellies are known to prey on one another. Tinophores are largely overlooked because most are too fragile to be sampled with troll nets. Their best studies studied with remote operated vehicle. In the Monterey Submarine Canyon, there is current research using remote operated vehicles, such as the Tiburon. This is a picture of the bloody belly comb jelly at 2,000 meters depth. When brought to surface, the blood berry comb jelly looks like this. <laughs>